I've met some folks who say that I'm a dreamer And I've no doubt there's truth in what they say But sure a body's bound to be a dreamer When all the things he loves are far away And precious things are dreams unto an Good morning everybody and welcome to another metal detecting adventure with me, Robbie Cole. Well, it might be an adventure, it might not be. Now, I've managed to find one of my permissions that still isn't underwater. Although it has to be said, it's still like a bog. Now, I don't often come around here because there's never been too much activity apart from the odd farmer bimbling about. So, we'll just have to keep his fingers crossed and hope that we find something decent. So, without further ado, I'll catch you all on the first decent signal that we get. Okie dokie, off we go. Well, come on, I haven't got all day. Well, boys and girls, <coughs> excuse me. This is the very first signal, cracking signal. Came up at 74 on the ID scale, only about five inches deep. Don't need a pinpoint probe because I can see, and it looks as though we've got a buckle. And it's just that, my friends. Not very exciting, admittedly, but I'll let you have a look at that. There's a little buckle there. Probably from the early 1900s, something like that. But it's a nice little first find, and at least it's not rubbish. So, we'll pop that in the little box. Not the boxy thing, just the box. And we'll crack on a bit further, my friends. Okie dokie. Right, I'll see you all in a while. Well, the next signal, boys and girls, uh, once again, not very deep, only about four or five inches. Uh, nothing too exciting, once again, it's just there. It's just a tiny little button. Uh, still got the shank on the back. Uh, not quite sure how old it is, but it's a nice little find all the same, because, as I say, I didn't expect to find too much in this field at all, but it could well prove me wrong. Okie dokie, we'll pop it in the boxy thing and we'll crack on my friends. Well, here's the next find boys and girls. Uh, this time it was considerably deeper. Uh, probably about 10 inches deep that. Uh, but once again it's nothing to shout about, it's just a piece of copper plate. Uh, very thin, very delicate. Looks as though it's got four little holes punched in the corner. Haven't got the faintest idea what it was for, as usual, but there you go, it's another find for the box. Right, we'll pop it in the box and we'll crack on, my friends. Right, my good friends, we have yet another signal down here, uh, about six inches deep, cracking signal, came up at 82 on the ID scale, and it's just that. And all I can tell you at the moment is it's green and it's round but I don't think it's a coin. I haven't touched it yet, so let's have a look together. <laughs> well, I'm no expert, but I'd say that that is probably the knob off a drawer. <laughs> okay, right, I'll let you have a look. <laughs> oh dear. Well, there's the little doohickey in question, the little thingy ma bob, and it looks like a knob off a drawer. What it's doing in the middle of nowhere, your guess is as good as mine. But there you go. Right up, we'll check the hole, fill it in, and we'll crack on a bit further, my friends. Okie dokie, see you in a while. Well, boys and girls, uh, I'm just on my way over there to get something to eat. I'm just in the corner of this field here. I uh, got a signal down here, just at the side of all these old nettles. Uh, another cracking signal came up at 87 on the ID scale. It's just there. And I will say it had me a little bit bewildered 
when I first saw it, as I say, it's just there. It was about about nine inches deep. And it's another strange little doohickey. <laughs> if I didn't know better, I'd say it was another knob off a drawer. But it's a very, very nice one. That's the little doohickey. The little thingy -ma bob in question. It looks as though it could be in the shape of a... What do they call them? Uh, oak trees. Uh, acorn. That's the word I was searching for. Acorn. I'll let you have a look at that. Yeah. There. Little... Whoops. Little acorn shaped thingy -ma bob. I'm assuming it fastened on to something there. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but, I like it. Whatever it is. How old it is, your guess is as good as mine. Probably, I don't know, late 1700s, early 1800s, something like that. But it's a very nice little find all the same. Right, we'll pop it in the boxy thing. And I'm going for something to eat now. Right, I'll see you in a while, everybody. Right, my good friends, we've got a signal down here, just there, only about ooh, four or five inches deep, and I think we've got a little thimble. In fact, I'm sure we have. It's, well, I don't know that it's broken because, oh yeah, it is broken, yeah. But that's what it is, my friends, it's a little thimble. Uh, I don't find too many of these, as I'm sure you're aware. So it's 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 a really nice little find that. So we'll pop it in the little boxy thing with the uh, knobs off the drawers and the other bits and pieces, and we'll crack on a bit further, my friends. Whoops a daisy! Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Oh, here we are. We have got it. I've found it. I've found it. There we are, little thimble. Right. I'll catch you in a while, everybody. Right, my good friends, we have yet another find down here. In fact, it's only about a metre away from where I found that uh, little thimble. Uh, only about five inches deep, and it's this bizarre little item here. Uh, I think it's made out of copper. It's got a lot of green patina on it, quite heavy. Uh, got s some definite shape to it. Although, what it is, once again, I haven't got a clue. Uh, if anybody out there knows what it is, please leave me a comment below. Okie dokie, we'll fill the hole in and crack on a bit further, my friends. See you in a while. Well, boys and girls, <laughs> I think I've stumbled on the area where the farmers from bygone days used to dump all their rubbish what with the draw knobs that I've dug up and stuff like that and here we have another classic example I don't know what it is but, but it was a cracking signal came up about 78 on the ID scale about 5 inches deep and oh, it's this little bizarre item here uh, I don't know what it is <laughs> some kind of hinge lock type thing I'm not entirely sure but it's not exactly what I was looking for but there you go okay my friends we'll pop it in the bag and I'll see you in a short while right boys and girls well I'm going to have to throw the towel in today the reason being I've hurt my back I hurt it the other day while I was doing some gardening and some decorating Anyway, I thought the uh, exercise today might have done it some good. Well, it hasn't. <laughs> In fact, it's made it even worse. So, as a result of that, I can hardly walk, let alone dig any more holes. So that's why I'm packing up early. Anyway, before we go any further, I want to say thank you to Man V Field for sending me that lovely little silver hammered coin. Thank you. I also want to say thank you to Al from Oldies and Goodies for the Christmas card and the little silver prezi. Thank you Al, appreciated. And I also want to say thank you to Floyd Detectorist who sent me a nice letter and he also sent me a lovely little silver coin as well. So thank you very much, I do appreciate it. Now, it would appear that today I have stumbled on a Georgian stroke Victorian dumping ground. 
because I've found things like this, which I haven't got a clue what it is. Uh, probably a knob off a set of drawers, something like that. Uh, a very nice little knob off some drawers, a little acorn shaped one, which is very, very nice actually. I don't mind finding things like that, I think they're lovely. Uh, then we, we found the, the bottle thing, which is quite corroded obviously. Um, this thing, whatever it is, I haven't got a clue. Obviously used for something. A uh, little button with the shank on the back, nothing to shout about there. Uh, we also found this little thimble just up there, very badly damaged. Uh, I'll, I'll clean it up and put a photograph in the video. Uh, and that's about it for those, but I also dug up lots and lots of pieces of lead scrap. Other things that I just don't know what they are. Uh, <laughs> and I suspect that that is also part of a draw handle uh, and the reason that I know they're from that era is because I also dug this up which you didn't see which is an Edwardian stroke Victorian stair rod gripper part so that's what that is uh, and then we also dug up this little square plate with four holes in and a load of other rubbish as well including that bizarre thing there whatever it is so those are the finds today my good friends and the reason that i'm doing the roundup here is because my study den call it what you will at the moment i'm i'm decorating it <laughs> i don't think i'll be doing any more decorating today christ oh my giddy aunt i can hardly walk uh but that's why i'm doing the roundup here because it's all upside down and everything so that's it for today my friends i'm sorry it's a short video but i can't do anything about it just want to say thank you very much for joining me again thank you to all my viewers and all my new subscribers i do appreciate it and i'll catch you on the next video whenever that will be and if i've forgotten anything i'm sorry but my back hurts <laughs> so i'll see you all later bye for now